Okay. Hi. I'm William, and I was the editor and cinematographer on you. And um, this is how we failed to make a short film. I was Lynn. I was like Doug's best friend in the movie. I was the director, and I also I also wrote the script. I was I'm I'm the producer of this movie. Oh, well, I was the producer before we. Uh, yeah. How did you come up with the idea for the movie? I didn't come up with the idea for the film. Our director, Abby, was, um, was the person who came up with the idea. I like dramatic movies more than like sports movies or comedies. Our teacher really loved it, so we rolled with it. And the idea was just like a random idea that popped up in my head. Did you like the idea? No, I, I had my own ideas, but uh, they got shut down really early on in the process. So. What were your ideas? Uh, well, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to incorporate some ninjas, uh, possibly dragons. I just wanted something exciting for our film. So you weren't happy with the choice? I wouldn't say I wasn't happy, but I would have, I would have wanted, wanted some of my ideas. First day. First day. Right, or the night before, uh, what happened? What kind of went through your head? First night. First, the night before filming. Night before filming. Oh, yes! Thing. We really didn't have any actors confirmed. I had um, some friends who I, I thought were willing to do it. And the night before, I, I asked them, you guys are ready tomorrow for tomorrow. All of them told me that they weren't going to come. I thought, oh my god, I'm going to kill Paul. Like, I'm not actually going to kill Paul, but I thought I was literally going to kill Paul. So I was, I was begging. William Abbey, please, please, just find some people, just find some people. I'm so sorry guys, I didn't do it. I couldn't find them, they've all flaked on me. The actors are the most important part of the film and you can't film without actors. I was about to have to act in the movie because we didn't have anyone. And you ended up acting in it anyway. Oh uh, yeah. Why were you chosen to be in the movie? Uh, because no one else was up for it. Um, I'm friends with Abby, the director. Oh, uh, Abby texted me in like second period. She's like, you want to be a movie? I was like, sure. She asked me that she, she told me that she needed some people to um, be in the video, uh, be in her quote, um, movie. I, I volunteered. I, I told her like, if she needs anyone, then I can help her out with that. When did Abby tell you to like, she, when did she ask you to be in it? Well, second period, like the day before or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the day. The timeline? <laughs> At all? I don't know. Abby asked me to do it two weeks prior to the first meetup to record. Uh, so I woke up and then like someone called me and they're like, hey, "You want to help us film?" And I thought I was like filming like with the camera, but like apparently I got there and they're like, "You're at, you're the main actor." I was like, "Okay, whatever." You didn't know what you were doing when you showed up. No. What's going through your head first day, beginning and end, just your experience? Um, so, before everyone, anyone arrived, um, I was thinking, man, these guys are really late. I was gonna be like super serious, but it wasn't. <laughs> just like random stuff. And then like the first day, I was like all freaked out because Paul's friends weren't there. <laughs> so we spent an entire hour trying to get an actor who, was, who ended up being James. You know? Honestly, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know what went wrong on that first day because it was good. Oh, after the first day, I was kind of confused on how things were gonna go because the whole lineup of actors weren't our original actors, and we didn't film what we expected to film, and everything was just very last minute. 
I didn't really come in with the mindset that, oh, this is going to fail or, oh, this is going to be a success. Obviously, I hoped that it would be successful, but I didn't come with the mindset of thinking maybe this will fail. I thought, I don't know, I had positive thoughts, like high hopes. Well, that I, I, didn't, I hadn't read the rest of the script. Would that change later? Maybe sure. Probably. Probably. Perhaps. And that, that day of filming was, was really fun. Um, I thought it went well. What was it like for you on set? Uh, what does on set mean? I mean, at first it was awkward because like I didn't know any of you, but then like it was fine afterwards. Oh, was, on set was amazing. Watching, uh, watching all the actors act, seeing them uh, mess up constantly. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Uh, it felt like I was acting. It was fun. I thought I had fun, but I also felt like I was the reason why we took so long to start everything just because every single time we were about to start something, I would make a joke. James, you with James. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Stop. Stop. Calm. Sorry. Calm. Fuck up. <laughs> this is wrong. Please don't. <laughs> Oh, go? Like, go? go <laughs> oh, sorry, sis. It was like, huh. it's a <laughs> You ready? <laughs> but um, overall, I think it was really fun. What was your favorite part of filming? Uh, my favorite part was. acting. Uh, laughing at the actors. Laughing at them? La yeah. No. Oh, no, slapping James several times over and over again. Step back a little bit. Okay, now you can go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does it matter? Ah! 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 Got to meet new people. What was the most difficult part of filming for you? Nothing. You're just smooth sailing. <laughs> Nothing was wrong. Oh, the lines are really corny. Why would you say they're corny? They're just weird and awkward. Um, for me, f the most difficult part of filming was just organizing everything, getting everybody free on, on, on a day, and just organizing all of that was probably the biggest um, challenge. Um, since the people filming with me were my friends, it was hard to take it seriously and not like mess around. Keeping a straight face. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably better for comedic uh, videos and stuff, but for dramas, it's a little hard for me to keep a straight face. I think the most difficult part was, it was too hard. I was gonna say the same thing that I said in the other question. But then it would contradict it. So I was gonna say, yeah, the most difficult part is expressing my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What stalled the filming process? Just the availability, scheduling conflicts with everyone. Everyone couldn't be at the same time, or at the same place at the same time. Uh, like, basically anywhere. We all got along really well, but then we were also really like, joking around a lot. Everything made everyone laugh, so no one took anything seriously. Oh, Teddy kept bumping my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dog. <laughs> and then like every time we try to start, we like not start until like three hours later. If you could kick someone off, who would it be? Kick someone off? <laughs> oh, wow. Um. You can say no one. You don't have to answer, but... Paul. Why? It would be Paul. Paul? I don't know. <laughs> I never really understood Paul's role. Myself. Why Paul? He didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't really know what he did throughout this. Um, what do you think Paul actually did? Like, 
Do you know what he actually did? What his role was? I don't think he First, he couldn't get friends to do the jobs that we asked him to do. And he said he was going to cater his food, but he never gave us any food, so. Why? Um, so that, uh, so I wouldn't uh, slow anyone down. And then last day, bowling. Bowling. Yeah, or bowling. I mean, we were basically done with the bowling alley, right? So like, I was just like, whatever. <laughs> and like, I thought the scenes were okay. Like it wasn't that bad. I was glad I could give Paul my speaking part so he could actually be in the film. What about the whole getting kicked out thing? Was that, how do you feel like? I thought that was so stupid because like there's other workers there. Why did they kick us out? Like, it was only that one lady. She was like leaving. I was kind of scared that we got kicked out because we barely finished everything. Well, okay, so the last day, our initial plan was to, was to bowl, but we, we, couldn't get, we couldn't get a spot at the bowling alley. So we had to play pool um, as a substitute. You know, we were, we, were, we were having a good time. The shots were getting good. We were getting our lines. We were filming our scenes. And then all of a sudden, our, the manager comes up to us and tells us that we, we have to leave because um, we can't film and you need permission from the, like, the higher ups. So we decided to leave. I thought it was okay. I feel like we would have finished if we could. Unfortunately, we were kicked out. They didn't let us film, so we really, literally only had one scene left in there, but we got kicked out before we could. So, and I didn't realize that was like the last time we would all hang out together. Uh, did you think it had like a major impact on the outcome of the movie, like why we're here now or no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah because William <laughs> lost the footage, so we can't go back because we got kicked off the first time. Do you think this film turned out well? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Um, I feel like it would have turned out well if we had continued going. No. Why not? Because I'm bad at writing. That's the only reason why. I don't know. Depends. I haven't seen the clips. Probably not. <laughs> And then, uh, closing thoughts. Anything else you want to say, or anything you want to, I don't know. Uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck with your video. <laughs> um, I hope this doesn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. Oh, and I also hope we don't fail this class, but it's okay. Well, in closing, I, I had a, personally, I had a very great experience filming. Um, there was a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. A lot of the things that get a good grade. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's get a good grade. <laughs> we put effort into this. I'm a little sad that you guys didn't get to finish it. I felt like it would have been fun to finish it. I I really did want you guys to have a successful, um, successful film. It was. It was pretty fun. I, <laughs> I understand that I was majority of the reason why we got sidetracked, but that was all because we were all laughing around and having fun with each other. And those are the and I got to bond with people. I I realized that I could still meet new people even though I'm it's towards the end of my high school year. So it was fun. Thank you for having me.
matter what I do, I feel like this is gonna end. Honestly, bro, I understand why you're doing this, but it's not good for me. <coughs> Yeah.